Hey guys, time for another walk and talk. This one might get uploaded sooner because it's going to be shorter. <clears throat> but I was uh, just watching Salty Cracker. You can find that video down below in the description where he's talking about this um, epidemic of drag queens coming to elementary school libraries and public libraries to uh, perform and uh, read for kids as young as five years old. Now, we talked about this, how the public school system is actively trying to sexualize children. Uh, my theory is that, you know, uh, within uh, government, we have a lot of pedophiles. I mean, that's the whole reason why we have the whole surveillance state, so they can tap into cameras of these children, because these children are getting phones at younger and younger ages, as well as laptops and all that shit. So uh, it's very sick, but I was uh, listening to Salty Cracker, and I, I totally agree with him. I mean, he, he basically comes out and he says, why is this happening? Why are drag queens basically flashing their junk to these children? And that's what happened recently. And apparently nobody called the police, you know? I think, and we were, you know, I think both of us were scratching our heads thinking, why the hell weren't the police called? And part of me thinks that uh, the parents were, you know, afraid of being called bigots or whatever. I mean, that's insane. These drag queens could literally be assaulting their children and they wouldn't call the police because they would say, oh, well, you know, that's, that would be very intolerant to me, you know? That would be very intolerant to me. So I do ask, why, why is this thing happening? Why are parents bringing their children to these things? Why are public libraries allowing this thing to happen? I really hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that, you know, pedophilia is not a huge problem that needs to be dealt with like they're doing in Russia with uh, chemical castration and throwing these people in jail like automatically. I mean, if you can prove that these people are guilty of uh, sexual assault of a minor and decent exposure or anything, you know, why are we accommodating these people? Honestly. And I would just go ahead and say that you know, to the parents that are bringing their children to these things, you know, you guys, um, you better watch out, honestly, because what you're doing is you're exposing your children to some very subversive things, and you may be found guilty yourself of uh, child neglect and abuse. You could definitely be um, implicated in terms of being complicit with these things. So uh, that is one thing that I just need to warn you guys about. Um, you ought not to bring your children anywhere near these people. Um, in the mission of becoming more woke or seeming woke because maybe deep down you really are a bigot. You know, really are um, just a rotten human being so you need to virtue signal in order to make yourself look better. I don't know. But things are going to change. And when it does, you know, people are going to be going to prison. So I just say to the parents, I ask, why are you bringing your children to these things? And I also say, if you continue to do this, you know, bad things, let's just hope for this. God forbid nothing happens to your children. You know, let's hope that they're not emotionally scarred by this. And in order to prevent that, don't even bring them to these things, honestly. That would be my, uh, my warning there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless, and uh, I'll see you later.